My son came home from Scouts last night with an envelope full of badges. It was great news. I offered to sew these on. So what I'm going to do here in this video is share some really simple tips for how to get that job done. Being someone who does a bit of DIY, I did wonder if there's anything laying around in my toolbox that might help get this done quicker. A power drill probably isn't the right tool for the job. Yeah, this should work. Just let me give it a try. By using this flexible torch, you can get light coming directly downwards, which means you can do a couple of things. You can thread the needle much easier because you've got really clear light showing you what you're doing. You can also do the, the kind of cross stitching that's required for sewing these badges on much easier where you have to pick through the fine threads. Okay, the first thing to do is always find uh, where the badge needs to go. There are plenty of guides online, uh, no pun intended, um, where to show you exactly where the badges go. Some on the scout shirt go above the pocket, some on the right sleeve, the sort of activity badges go on the left sleeve. Um, this is the standard scouts. Uh, emblem and that goes sort of somewhere central on the pocket. Pinning it in place just means it's not going to slip around all over the place and uh, come out at a skewed angle. Uh, just remember we're not building structural walls here. If the badges do come out at a slight angle you probably won't notice. Okay so let's start with threading the needle. It's very very straightforward. Just grip the thread towards the end Rotate the needle so the hole is open and push the needle down toward the thread. And as you can see, got it first time. Then just simply grip the whole thing and pull the thread through. And the trick really is, um, thread is not expensive. So take a lot to make sure that you don't run out and you're not trying to shortchange yourself with the amount that's come through. Let it come a long way through so that it's not going to slip out very easily. It may slip out, but you know, the more you use, um, you're giving yourself a bit of um, room for maneuver there. So then just cut it to length. Okay, and we need to tie some kind of knot at the end. You usually find doing this maybe once. twice doesn't always land in the same place <laughs> so I'll keep going usually a third time will um, make a knot big enough that it's going to uh, sort of stay in place there we go we'll go with that and hopefully that, that will be enough to um, stop it coming through okay so to start off with now we've threaded our needle just find a part of the badge um, at the back and initially don't try and get the shirt just push the needle through the badge and out the back and then we're simply going to go all the way around and the trick here is we're not pushing all the way through we just want to um, catch the material of the shirt just a tiny bit and then straight into the badge and if you see there, I've just got a tiny thread of each. And that's all we really need. Now, an absolute top tip is on the sleeve or in a pocket like this, every time you do this, just quickly check you haven't caught the layer behind and sewed uh, the pocket together or the sleeve uh, together. If you do it at this stage, uh, it's easy. You pull the needle back out and push it through again. Um, if you do it later on, if you find out you've done it later on, you're gonna to have to cut it off and then there'll be a whole load of loose thread and the badge could potentially fall off. Okay, so now I've gone pretty much all the way around. Didn't take too long. I'm now just going to put a final stitch in and sort of loop it around and tie it off. So this time I'm gonna go back through the loop here and we can sort of tie it off. 
Now, just for good measure, I'm going to push it back through the pocket because I'm on the pocket and finish it behind like that. Then it's just a case of trimming off the excess and back where we started. There's just a little bit of loose thread and remove the pin. Now then, this may not be perfect, but they really are. But what we will see is because we've gone in um, sort of behind the edge of the badge, there is almost no visible stitching there. Now that is quite a good result for, you know, not an expert. When you compare it to some others here, you can see, I don't know if you can see, there is visible stitching sort of sticking out. I won't mention who did this. And then there are others, here's one I did earlier, <laughs> where it's sewn on like this. Um, these three I did um, earlier sewn on. They're not brilliantly straight, uh, but they are, you know, decent looking and I think they will stay on long enough. I hope this video has been useful. If so, please leave a comment in the section below.